at 800-7-5400-77. Cardinals were the laughing stock of the NFL. I mean, even some of their own players were ripping them publicly. Fans were not coming to the game. So they needed to not only improve the quality of their players, but they needed to find something that would give the fans of Phoenix a reason to want to come and watch. There was a lot of news coverage of Pat because he was such a, uh, a great character that the media loved to interview. So everybody knew who Pat Tillman was. Larry Marmee uh, and I went to work him out on his pro day there at Arizona State University, and we asked him to work out as a defensive back for us. It was going to be a 15-minute workout. He would not let Larry and I leave for 45 minutes until he got every drill exactly right. And, and he would say, Coach, you know that's not right. He said, you know damn well I can do better than that. The 40-yard dashes that he kept running and he kept running and he kept running, and most guys, you can't get him to run it more than twice. Well, Pat was willing to run it until the cows came home. He took off his shoes to run, see if he could run it fast. He had finally gotten down to where he'd stripped down to just his shorts, bare-chested, out there, was diving on the ground. He came up, he had strawberries all over him, skin knees. I think the people at the Cardinals fit him to a T, and that's why he got a chance to play at the National Football League. They were old-school coaches. They loved his work ethic, how relentless, how tough he was. That Tillman pick's going to be a popular one down there Absolutely. in the Valley of the Sun. Absolutely. I think he's a kid. He's going to project from linebacker to safety. Yeah. Tough kid, great special teamer. Pat Tillman will play in this league. Arizona drafted Tillman with the 226th pick of the 1998 NFL Draft. A decided underdog, Tillman started his campaign to change his status. I can remember one of the first sit-down meetings that I had with Pat. And he said, Coach Mack, I'm a local guy. You think that some people may buy tickets just to come watch me play on special teams or watch me do that? He said, if you'll work with me, I'm going to be your damn starting safety. After the second or third week of our rookie camp, Pat really forced the rest of the team to respect him. He wouldn't back down to the veterans. I mean, the guy got in more fights, I think, in training camp than any other player on the team. He really made you play better. Uh, he made the guys around him play better because of the intensity and the courage he showed out on the football field. If he was blessed with more physical ability, if he was a bit faster, a bit taller, a bit larger, he would have been a uh, Lawrence Taylor kind of linebacker in the NFL because he had that kind of brain power. The fact of the matter was, with what Pat Tillman had to work with, he became a very effective pro. The rookie's gut-checking commitment helped generate a revival in the desert as the Cardinals made the playoffs for the first time in 16 years. Two seasons later, in 2000, Tillman established a franchise record with 224 tackles. When the free agent safety received a $9 million five-year offer from the St. Louis Rams in 2001, he demonstrated another facet of his complex personality. He lived by loyalty. I remember trying to talk to Patty about the value of this contract, how it would set him up for the rest of his life. And all he said to me is that, I don't want to leave my coaches, I don't want to leave the players, and I don't want to leave Arizona. He said, uh, you guys believed in me. You guys gave me a chance. What would that say about me if I just walked out on you now? And I said, well, that's, you know, it's part of the process. He said, not for me. He said, I'm staying here, Mac. I don't think material possessions meant anything. He was the exact same person he was when he was 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th grade. It didn't change. He would dress the same way he dressed during college. He would drive the same car he was driving in college. Pat could relate to every background on our team. He could sit with guys from inner city LA or sit with a guy from the hills of Montana. If Pat Tillman liked you and uh... And he was loyal to you, and you could count on it. He would be at your back. Tillman's loyalty cost him during his senior year of high school when he beat up a man who had a run-in with one of his friends. Arrested and charged with felony assault as a minor, Tillman served 30 days in juvenile detention. That was a wake-up call. That, you know what, everything that we've done in the past and the stuff we got got away with, you know, it's going to catch up to us. You take an incident like that, and you can go two directions. You can either fall off the wagon, 
you know, and go down a path of, you know, crime per se, or you can lead your life and learn from it. And, and Pat's the type of guy, he took an experience and learned from it. I think Pat knew that he could do so much more and could make such a larger impact in the world. And he certainly wanted to be much more than a football player. He knew exactly what he was getting into. He understood the ramifications of what could happen. He didn't join at a time of peace. He joined at a time of war.